Today I'm going to show you how to filter edited or unedited images inside of Lightroom. What's up nerds? Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Adam and today I have a fun one for you. Today I'm going to show you how to filter for edited or unedited images. Now this is something that you may have never thought of before and that's why I'm really excited to bring you today's tutorial because at the end of the day I bet you that this is something that most if not all of you are gonna find uh, useful because it's something that you may not have been doing before so just hear me out for a quick second I bet you if I were to ask you guys how many of you after you go out and take pictures and you finally get around to getting back and downloading your files into Lightroom you take a couple of minutes to sift through and look for some of the ones that you think are your winners and then you go ahead and you start to play around with them in the develop module the minute you start to make changes to those files inside the develop module you have begun the editing process and this is something that I do a lot because I get really excited about an image that I took while on location and I immediately want to get home and play with it. But a lot of times I want to play with images because I'm not sure. It's a file that I think might work, but I really don't know if I'm going to like the photo until I start to mess around with it. Sometimes I edit it fully to completion. And other times I stop editing it either because I'm not feeling the image or it's not coming out quite the way that I wanted to or maybe I just don't know how to go about processing it. But either way, I've made changes to the file. And as soon as you make changes to a file in the develop module, Lightroom knows this and it immediately flags that file in the background as either edited or unedited. And this is really cool because now Lightroom has given you a super easy way to go and look for what has been edited and what has not been edited. You just have to know where to find this feature. And that's where I come in because I'm going to show you today exactly where to find it and how it works. And it's really easy once you see it. So let's head on into Lightroom and show you what I'm talking about. Now this is a metadata feature. So the first thing we want to do when we go into the library module is we want to make sure that our filter bar is turned on and one way that you can do this is simply by making sure that you hit the backslash key you'll probably see your filter bar already here it says text attribute metadata or none but if you don't see yours just hit the backslash button and that'll make sure that your filter bar shows up once you get your filter bar up you're gonna go underneath metadata and it doesn't matter which one of these features you change because this feature lives in all of them. So you can see right now, mine says that I could change date or camera, lens or label. It really doesn't matter which one you choose because this will work in any single one of them. I'm going to just go under camera. And then as I scroll up, you'll see a new tab here that says edit. This is the one that we're looking for. So as soon as I click on edit, I get the ability to look and change either edited or unedited. So I can see that I have 65 images that have never been touched, but I do have five images that I've played around with. So if I click on this feature, immediately it's going to show me the five images that I've already started to play around with. It doesn't matter if I finished them or not. These images have had changes made to them in the develop module. So pick a folder choose this metadata feature and you'll be surprised there may be some images in there that you started working on and maybe forgot about and maybe you're excited to finish those images now that you found them hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial my name is adam thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next episode have a great day everybody